Well, welcome back to Dark Souls and to Side Quest. Uh, still kind of confused over here. I fought a big golden golem. It popped and turned into a noble lady in a gold dress. We talked briefly and then she disappeared. And now my feet are soaked here in the lake. But we've got ladders to climb, so let's get to that. Ladders, ladders. So, I do have to say, there is a real satisfaction to coming back to an area that you have explored a couple of times, but not really uh, had the guts to completely go and explore it in its full capacity. It feels very cool coming back to those places and kind of 100%ing them in a way, just like, like completing your exploration of a place. Feels cool checking places off the list. And after all, now that I am level 70, I fear nothing. Nothing can go wrong. Which is liberating. Excuse me, plant life. Got other stuff to do. There we go. Hey! That's quite enough of all you. More of you than I felt like dealing with, if I'm honest. Huh. Closer than it should have been. I guess things can still go wrong. I stand corrected. Nice to have moss, at least. Always nice to have that. A lot of plants out here. Too many plants. Nah. Boy, that wide swing really does cause some damage. It is funny to me at this point that the frame rate dropping now gives me the sensation of ominous music in a horror film. Because in an area where the frame rate drops, I almost always experience frustration and pain. Cool. Eastern stuff. I'm impressed by how much more there seems to be up here to explore. Thought I'd covered a lot of this whole dark root area. Feels very big. I don't think I will, but thank you. Uh, I could probably survive that. Eh. So much still left up here, though. That light just a flower? I think it is. Yeah. Those illuminated flowers are deceptive. The whole area is huge. I beg your pardon. Who are you? Excuse me. Oh wait, are you guys the phantoms that I was like grinding <laughs> out here? Ages ago? Ah, there's more plants, too. This is not ideal. Yeah. I should probably be trying to parry and stuff, but... There we go. Gotcha. That is a familiar number of souls to receive. Yeah, I might be getting closer to that, uh, area I was grinding in before. That's fun. Hey! Hey! Stop it! Stop it! Annoying. So someone was shooting at me earlier. That's no fun. Who dares? Um, how do I get up here? How do I climb small ledge? Ooh, stairs! Wait, this is familiar, I've been here! <laughs> ah, yes. You know what? For old time's sake.
Yep, that's pretty much what you did last time, too. You know what, let's go ahead and use the bonfire up here. Just in case we slip up. Which has been known to happen. I seem to recall there being some other folks out here. Oh yeah, there's several. At least two that I see. Is it me, or are a lot of them wearing a lot of the starting gear? That kind of comes with the different classes when you start the game. I may be wrong. I think I am. <laughs> this is working well. Stunning him pretty well. Nice! Probably for the best that I am not... human while out here. I get the feeling that I'd be getting invaded a lot. Oh, so what's in here then? Is that a cat? Are you a cat? What are you? What are you? Is it not so that thou art new? <laughs> thou well, fared right well to find me. But cometh thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorius art none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark. <laughs> Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. <laughs> okay. <sighs> uh... I guess... Yes. Well, indeed. Thou art a strange one. Nevertheless, I feel some liking for thee. I'm Alvina of the Darkroot Wood. I command a clan of hunters who track down defilers of the forest graves. What dost thou say? Wilt thou not join us? Oh, yes. I believe we would suit thee well. You know what? Why not? I... sure, joining New Covenants sounds fun. I am very glad. And now thou art one of us. Let us establish a covenant. Sure. Dark Souls is weird. And here, taketh this ring. If thou wearest that ring, it allows for thine summoning. If mine senses reveal intruders, then I will summon thee. Fend them off, sir. I beseech only this. I shall summon others who will, by their honor, work tirelessly with thee. Thou shalt receive great reward, and whatsoever ye shall pillage will be thine own. A true agreement, not so. But thou must heed the golden rule. The clan is thine own family. To thine kinsmen forever stay true. Darest not in any attempt to double cross. That's a talkative cat. Have no doubt. Such wretchedness. Never. Will we tolerate? You done? Ah, thou dost cometh. How fares ye? My hopes for thee are of the highest. Do not such a hope shatter with foul disproportion. Ah, my hopes. So I guess I joined the cat clan. Well? I've done weirder things in Dark Souls. Ooh, chest. Funnily enough, 
despite how long that cat went on about who we are and what we do, I don't a hundred percent understand who we are or what we do. Is that just a PvP of the woods clan? Is that our thing? This one's fine. Stone stuff. Cool. I mean, I'm not really interested in doing PvP stuff, though. But, I don't know. I guess I can always go join... Wait. What is that? Oh, it's the more of the mushrooms. This place is huge. There's so much stuff. But yeah, I guess I can always go back and join the Queen of the Sun's covenant again later if I really want to. If cat loyalty just doesn't seem to be doing it for me. Ooh, item. It's just so much to this area. Are you guys hostile or are you just kind of whatever? Yeah? You guys seem fine with whatever. And that means I am fine with you. How about you guys? Now you seem less agreeable. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fine. Let us do battle. Ow. <laughs> oh, Dan, what did you do in Dark Souls today? Oh, nothing much. Made friends with a cat. Joined its cult. Fought a mushroom. Played Dark Souls, basically. Oh, and I killed a gold thing. Who then turned into a noble woman standing in a puddle. And then she vanished. So. Dark Souls stuff. And down you go. Okay. Thank you for the pine resins. Are you a mimic? No? Great. Can I open you? Enchanted ember. Ooh. That seems important. Glad I came here. This place is enormous. I thought I had covered most of this area already, but now I just... I kind of feel lost. Mm, and I have a lot of souls again. Well, I guess it's actually not that many souls at the- Oh, hello. Hmm. But yeah, I guess when you need nearly 30,000 souls to level, less than 30,000 actually isn't that much anymore. What's this? Oh, it's just more flowers. Okay. So, I guess let's see what this is all about? Boss? What have I gotten myself into? Well, we came here to explore. Oh yeah, this is one of those uh, doors that my Artorias key opens, I guess? What am I getting myself into? Hello? Hmm. I say hello. Anyone? One person says block, one person says hold with both hands. Yeah, I get the feeling that'll be true in either case. Okay. Ah, I found a sword. Let's be friends. This is a very cool looking area, by the way. 
Just want to appreciate that before the panic starts. So... Do we talk? What happens? Oh boy. Here we go. Whatever it is, here we go. I beg your pardon. I'm sorry I joined the Cat Clan, I'll never do it again. I'm having a weird day. Well... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I can't decide if this is silly or awesome, or some combination of both. <laughs> Whoa. Ah. I guess if I stay close enough to it, then eh, nothing bad can happen. Yeah. This wolf would be a really interesting animation challenge. That hurt. And my frame rate is just tanking. But yeah, like figuring out how to reasonably make a uh, wolf fight with a sword. <laughs> That's a weird challenge. Eh, careful. Probably didn't need to do that, but... This... is... weird. And cool. And weird. Whoa! <laughs> I'm just kind of going back and forth on how I feel about this. Oops. Ugh. Frame rate, come on, man. Ah! Wasn't expecting the double attack. And this. Don't kill me, please. Weird. And difficult. And weird. Alright, come on. Ah, I keep on not expecting that double attack. And I keep on doing reckless things like that. And getting punished for it. But, I mean, we're winning I think. Ah, yeah, man, even when I try to block. No. Please don't kill me. Ah, I don't like that attack. And another one. Here it goes. Almost gotcha. Ah, bad. Almost gotcha, though. Wolf with sword. Ah, almost. Oh, almost, but I don't want to be reckless. Oh, no. Aw, oh, now I feel bad. Sorry, wolf. Okay, kind of sorry. You're still hitting me, but sorry, wolf. Mixed feelings. Well, yeah, I I get the feeling someday when I look things up and find out the lore behind this whole situation, I'm going to feel much sadder about it than I do now. Anyway.
I would love to find a bonfire out here somewhere. I have got enough souls to level twice, which is saying something at this point in the game. Okay, now there's cats. Rolling cat. Ah, and I'm out of Vastus. I did not notice that. This is a bad situation for me. I think I'm just gonna kind of nope my way out of this, if that's all right with you. Hope it doesn't follow me. Really hope it doesn't follow me. I'm gonna find my way to... You know what? I'm just actually gonna use a Homeward Bone. That seems like the... thing to do. And we will see about the rolling cat nonsense once I've got some healing items. Eventful episode, this one. Actually, before we head back out there, and just to wrap this episode up, I'll go figure out the rolling cat situation later. But to close out this episode, let's take a look at items again, because I've gotten a lot of new stuff, I think, over the last few episodes. Some probably worth reading over. The soul of Sif, the great gray wolf who guards the grave of Artorias the Abysswalker. Ah, so that was the grave of Artorias. Interesting. And the DLC is about Artorias. Who is dead already, I guess? Hmm. Guess we'll find out later, maybe. Ah, the Enchanted Ember. Required for weapon ascension. This Enchanted Ember, a form of sorcery, is the vestige of the lost land of Ulasil. Ascends a plus five magic weapon to an enchanted weapon. Okay, so for magic weapons, then. Okay, so the Peculiar Doll... Was once There was once an abomination who had no place in this world. She clutched this doll tightly and eventually was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. Okay, so uh, I guess that was my clue that I should go and check the huge painting in Orlando. But also, I guess that means the strange woman I met there was the abomination who left? I don't know. Interesting. Acid Surge. Pyromancy four into the Great Swamp emits acid which corrodes weapons and armor. Not all pyromancy originates in the Great Swamp. One hears rumors of unknown pyromancers inhabiting various lands, and this spell is the work of one such outlander. Interesting. Should I be using something other than Fireball? Or the, whichever one I've been using? Dragon Tooth. Created from an everlasting Dragon Tooth, legendary Great Hammer of Havel the Rock. The Dragon Tooth will never break, as it is harder than stone, and it grants its wielder resistance to magic and flame. Very cool. Black Knight's Halberd. Halberd of the Black Knights who wander Lordran, used to face Chaos Demons. The large motion that puts the weight of the body into the attack reflects the great size of their adversaries long ago. Spider Shield. Shield of the Savage Mountain Bandits, uniquely shaped with a large black spider etched up on it, has resistance to poison. I, this is the shield... Some of you were saying in the comments that I should have had before going into Blight Town, and then looking at that last sentence, I can kind of maybe see why. Dragon Crest Shield. Shield of a nameless knight, likely a high ranked Knight of Astora, one of the enchanted blue shields, the Dragon Crest Shield greatly reduces fire damage. Oh, uh, cool. So the Crest Shield reduces magic, Dragon Crest reduces fire. Awesome. Havel's Great Shield. Great Shield of the legendary Havel the Rock, cut straight from a great slab of stone. This great shield is imbued with the magic of Havel, provides strong defense, and is incredibly heavy. A true divine heirloom, on par with the Dragon Tooth. Eastern Helm, a distinctive helm made in an eastern land. Exquisitely crafted, this helm offers excellent defense, particularly versus slash attacks, which are one of the main threats in battles in the east. Helm of Favor, Helm of Lotrek the Embraced, representing the goddess Fina's love. During his solitude, he forsook everything, for he believed in the goddess's love for him. There's a lot about this guy I apparently don't know. The goddess's arms wrap around it, as if, as if to embrace the wearer. During his solitude, he forsook Evan. Okay. Paladin Helm. Helm of Leroy, Paladin of the Catacombs. Who I kicked off a cliff. Sorry. 
Long ago, the Way of White produced its first undead, a paladin in golden armor. With the legendary treasures Grant and Sanctus, Leroy set out for Lordran, Land of the Gods, in the first undead mission of the Way of the White. Stonehelm, moss-covered helm of the Stone Knight, defender of the Darkroot Garden. The Stone Knight is a product of ancient magic, and although this helm is also imbued with magic, it is incredibly heavy. Havel's Helm. Helm worn by Havel the Rock's warriors. Carved from solid rock, its tremendous weight is matched only by the defense it provides. Havel's warriors never flinched nor retreated from battle. Those unfortunate enough to face them were inevitably beaten to a pulp. That sounds about like what I remember, yeah. Oh, so the Dusk Crown Ring was granted to Princess Dusk of Ulysseel upon her birth. Cool. Oh, so the Wolf Ring is one of the special rings granted to the Four Knights of Gwyn. The Wolf Ring belongs to Artorius the Abysswalker. Artorius had an unbendable will of steel and was unmatched with a greatsword. Very interesting seeing the wolf associated with Artorius. That's a neat little bit of item lore foreshadowing there. Covenant of Artorius. This ring symbolizes Knight Artorius's covenant with the beasts of the Abyss. Its wearer, like Artorius himself, can traverse the Abyss. Huh. Cat Covenant Ring. Ring granted to those bound by the Forest Hunter Covenant. Answer Alvina's summoning. The white cat, Alvina, speaks a human tongue and has lived since the early Age of Fire. Alvina was a trusted friend of Knight Artorius and the Great Wolf, Seif. Sif. Seif. Sword Wolf. Anyway, I think that's it for the item reading, and I think that's it for this weird episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time at... I mean, things can't get weirder, right?